Today we're heading to Dominaria United Standard to see what absurd things we can do with Vesuv and Duplomancy and Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephiroth, and it's time for another edition, our first Dominar United edition of Against the Odds, and we're kicking off our ATO exploration of our new set with kind of a dual Against the Odds episode. We are playing a deck I'm calling Ivy's Duplomancy, which is really built around Vesuvian Duplomancy, but also Ivy, which works with kind of the same stuff, so all about casting spells to target our creatures to make more creatures and do ridiculous things. So let's talk about what this deck's trying to do. Jump into some games, see it in action. So our namesake card, Vesuvian Duplomancy, it's essentially an Orphar on an enchantment. If we target one of our creatures, or an artifact, but we don't have any artifacts, but if we target a creature with a spell that only targets that creature, we get a copy of that creature, and it even gets around the legend rule. So it's like an Orvar, except an Orvar that doesn't die to everything. And then we have a bunch of creatures that really want stuff to be targeted by spells. Ivy, our other namesake card, when we target something else with a spell, we get a copy of that for free on our Ivy. So this doubles up our card draw effects and all this kind of stuff. It gets really, really sweet. Sweet. and we could potentially get multiple IVs going with Vesuv and Duplomancy. Even though it's a legend, it doesn't matter with Duplomancy. Storm Chaser Drake, our big engine card, when we target it, we get to draw cards, so it keeps us churning through our deck, finding more things to target, finding more Duplomancies, finding more creatures to target. Light Paws, just a two of, but a lot of the stuff we have in our deck that targets happens to be auras, and Light Paws just doubles it up. And then Brian Comer, I love Brian Comer in this deck, it makes two bodies when it comes into play, and one of the cards is really good against our deck, because in the early game, we're kind of Voltron, like loading up a Storm Chaser Drake or an Ivy or Light Pulse with spells. But one of the things that wrecks us is Liliana, Brian Comer, those two 1 1 bodies, great sack fodder. And then if we target it, we get another 1 1 spirit. And then if it dies, we can cast it for two mana from our graveyard as an order to trigger all of our stuff. Then we have a bunch of protection. The easiest way for us to lose is just a ton of removal. If we can't keep our Ivies and our Drakes and our Duplomancies on the battlefield, we're not going to get anywhere. So Tamio Safekeeping, Cradle of Safety, just hexproof and destructible style effect. They're also just cheap ways to target our stuff. So once we got Duplomancy, Tamiyo Safekeeping is like busted. We cast it, we protect our thing from removal spell, and we get another copy of that thing for one mana in this speed. And then Sarah Paragon, this is how we fight through the removal. After our opponent kills our stuff, rass our board, eventually we Sarah Paragon and just rebuild from our graveyard with its lurus like ability. Otherwise, we got a bunch of other ways to target our stuff. Combat research, security bypass, cheap targeting auras that also protect our stuff, draw us cards, Sheltering Bow can draw us a ton of cards if we have like a bunch of IVs and get a bunch of copies of it. Rafine's Guidance, another way to restart our combo from the graveyard. Uh, not very powerful, just one mana to give a creature plus one, plus one. But we can cast it from the graveyard for three mana, which is actually really, really powerful. If our opponent rests our board, then we find like another Storm Chaser Drake and cast Rafine's Guidance to start the chain with Duplomancy again. Otherwise, Tail Swipe, Instant Speed, one mana fight effect, another good way to clone our creatures. Mana base, pretty typical standard stuff. Side Board, a bunch of removal for creature decks, a bunch of counters for control decks, and that is Ivy's Duplomancy for Dominary United Standard. That's our Against the Odds deck for this week. So let's jump into some games and see what ridiculous things we can do in Dominary United Standard with Ivy and Duplomancy and Freds. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Today's video is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom. You can get all the Dominary United cards you need and help support the show over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish against the odds time it is new standard time and we are seeing if we can go off with a vesuvian duplomancy this hand's actually not the worst we do need to hit another land opponent gala greeters well, I mean, in this case, I guess we just got to run out Storm Chaser and hope for the best because we didn't draw land. If this dies, we're in a very sad spot. Top, Yuri Stomper, getting their ramp on. Well, that's fine. So Storm Chaser lives. Hopefully, the Storm Chaser is going to find us the land that we need. Although, I assume our opponent's ramping into something big. Opponent gets in. We are not going to block. All right, there's a land. So play the land. Ouch. Uh, security bypass Storm Chaser Drake. Draw a card. Tail swipe. Kill the Gala Greeter. 
draw a card. Oh, still not a land. All right, we get one more shot at it because we get to connive, but we really need to hit these lands. Connive. Okay, there's a land. So we'll discard one of our three duplomancies. All right. Found it. Land. And Golly Greeters returns. And Sereth, the Viper's Fang. Okay. Thankfully, the Stomper can't attack yet. But play the land. Oh, I'd love to just get down the Duplomancy. So this isn't turning on yet. Well, let's get in with, maybe we just Security Bypass? All right, Security Bypass number two. Draw a card. Go to combat, hit ya. Do some conniving. Discard. I guess Cradle of Safety. Another Storm Chaser. Yeah, discard Storm Chaser. Tail Swipe Seraph. Draw a card. Pass the turn. I mean, the Storm Chaser is not bad. Avabra Caretaker. Yeah, that's big. Opponent counters. Combat. Grows it. Hits us. Can we live for two more turns? That's the that's a big question. Yeah, my coast. Well, okay, play off my coast. Play Duplomancy. Hit you with the Drake. Do some conniving. Discard Duplomancy. Discard security bypass. Pass the turn. We got Tamio safekeeping at the ready to copy the Drake. Opponent, another Seraph. Yup, gains two. Counters on the Gala Greeter. Yup, it's us. Well, we'll take 10. Down to three. Well, let's, ouch, copy it. Another Drake. Untap. We got the GGs. Okay, we'll just we'll just win. We'll just win. Attack. Hit our opponent for nine. Our opponent's had good game, and it made me feel bad about casting a ton of spells. <laughs> it could have been a trap, though. It could have been a trap. So opponent's just playing big creatures, which I think means Fateful Absence comes in. Go in uh, go up Fateful Absence. We can go down a Paragon. We can go down a Sheltering Bow. Brian Comer's actually pretty good. How about one security bypass and one light pause? Run it like that. Well, that was pretty good. The only downside of this deck, well, I mean, one of the downsides is you get run over and do nothing sometimes, but the only other downside is sometimes you kill people quicker than you want. <laughs> Because you make so many creatures, it can be hard to dirtle sometimes, even when you want to. Well, this is interesting. A little bit scared of the number of pain lands we have. That damage is going to add up. Opponent, land, golly greeters, sure. Well, play the land. Yeah, I'll just pass for now. I think we pass this turn, kill something. Yeah, kill the golly greeter. And then next turn, we can Storm Chaser and leave up Safekeeping or something. Or, this is even better. Ouch, this painful mana. Storm Chaser. And Tail Swipe. Kill the Gala Greeter, draw a card. Pass the turn. Oh, now we just need the Duplomancy. Now we just need the Duplomancy. Jewel Thief, sure. So much pain. Well, uh, play the land. Rafine's Guidance, draw a card, ouch, <laughs> ouch. Okay, that's a non-pain land at least. Um, Drake number two, ouch. <laughs> so far, all this damage has been self-inflicted. Vigilance Trample, all right, does not have reach. Well, get in and hit ya. Down to 17, opponent. Hits us. Sure, down to 12. And what's the follow up? Maybe we just gotta play Sarah Paragon as a blocker. Ooh, I, oh my god, Ivy. Ivy, Gleeful Spell Thief. Ouch. Well, I mean, I guess we pay. 
I mean, we're kind of fine with that. Get in it, yeah. So Bona had to spend multiple spells to counter an Ivy, which eventually we can just get back with Sarah Paragon. Dormant Grove. Being a kind of put a counter on something, eventually flips. We are down to seven. Nothing to recast. White, blue. These pain lands. These pain lands. Uh, play a brine comber. Make a dork. Yeah, we have mostly killed ourselves this game, honestly. <laughs> when it comes down to it. Another dormant grove. Bona goes to combat. About it. Gonna get to flip one of these into a big vigilant thing. Bona goes to combat. Oh, attacks. This has haste? Doesn't have trample, though. So, well, we need to. Tamio safekeeping, storm chaser. Draw a card gains. Oh, another pain land. Oh, that's so awkward. Block, 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 block. Get rid of that jewel, Dave. Drop to five. Play the non pain land. Brian Comer, Storm Chaser. Combat Research, Storm Chaser. Ouch. <laughs> Make a Spirit. Ouch. Do we even want to play this Storm Chaser? Have we reached the point where we have to stop playing Storm Chasers? Let's just attack with Storm Chaser. Hit you to nine, draw a card. I don't know if it's worth taking the damage here. Yeah, let's just pass. We have dealt ourselves like 40 damage or something. About it. Dormant Grove, counter. Flips. Attacks. Well, we block and also block. Cycle the Triome. Well, at least that's a non-pain land. Can this keep us alive? One, two, three, four. What's in the graveyard? Not a ton. Okay, play farmland. Play Sarah Paragon. Another mirror shell crab. Well, we will pay for it. <laughs> All right, sure. Ah, they say good game. All right. Well, uh, that was interesting. I feel like we should be crushing this deck. Okay. Well, we're in the play for game number three. That was really awkward. That was. I'm glad that happened. Um, that was a great example of the problem with Painlands. Like, that was a great example. We lost that game one million percent because of the Painlands. Like, that was it. That was it, the Painlands just straight up made us lose. All right, this hand's not great, but at least it is not only Painlands. We'll put a Jano to the bottom. The problem we have with this hand is we just don't have any, any threats for a long time. Or as for our opponent. Okay, there's, there's a good draw. Well, let's play Attic our ways, play Storm Chaser. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Getting down Storm Chaser early is very nice. Opponent, Island, Outland, Liberator. Well, play the land. Yeah, I think we should just draw a card. Sheltering Bow, double draw. I'll hit ya. The Fateful Absences will be good eventually. Opponent, gets and hits us. Passes. Now go to combat, attack. Pass the turn. All right, beginning of combat, kill this. Wow, okay, sure. Opponent's gonna spend their turn discarding a crab. Goes to combat, gets in. So this blows up the bow, but we still have the drake. I think we just cycle a safekeeping to draw a card, gain some life. Okay, security bypass isn't bad. Although this trap breaker is annoying. Hmm, well, combat research, draw a card. Okay, there's a land, play the land. Okay, this is, this is much better. This is very good. Now we get to security bypass. The other way to deal with this is just by flipping it back. Security bypass, draw a card. Go to combat, hit ya. Draw some more cards. I mean, cause if our opponent has to sack this, then that's fine. But just blowing up stuff for free every turn is annoying. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's discard the Brian Comer. 
and pass the turn. I mean, I think we're mostly more or less all in on the storm chaser. So we flip that back around. If our opponent wants to kill our stuff, they're gonna have to actually sack their liberator. Gets and hits us, sure. And, wow, they're gonna pass? Okay. All right, let's play the land. Play around the crab, I guess. Brian Cormer, the storm chaser. Draw a card. All right, sure. We still get to draw a card. Oh, there's Ivy. So let's play Ivy. Get in with Storm Chaser. Draw some cards. And then this will flip the Trap Baker back around again. Yeah, we can probably discard a Storm Chaser. Where's our Duplomancy? Pass the turn. How about it taps? We flip it again. We're kind of winning the race, although we're helping our opponent again with these pain lands. <laughs> this has been the pain land game, Golly Greeters, for our opponent attacks. No blocks. Opponent passes. All right, non pain land is very nice. Go to combat. Hit you with the storm chaser. Draw some cards. I'll discard the pain land. Play another storm chaser. Past the turn. I mean, we should be good here, right? We got a handful of protection. Sereth, okay. Opponent gains some life, but that's not enough, right? Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. We will take it. Well, okay. Uh, and we got the GGs. Cradle safety, get some triggers. Well, we didn't find the Duplomancy, but Storm Chaser and Ivy doing some work here. Grow the dorks. Untap. Land. Combat. Swing. Win. They're gonna try to blow up something, but we'll just... Does any of this even matter? It doesn't. Okay, sure. So let's just... Let's just cast spells then. If our opponent's gonna keep doing things, we'll keep doing things. Yes. Trigger. Life. Indestructible. Cradle of safety. Trigger. Life. Indestructible. <laughs> you could have just let us kill you about it. We tried. We tried to be respectful. Faithful absence. <laughs> we tried to be respectful, but, uh, eh. You just had to blow up our enchantment. And then, yeah, we'll save that to you. <laughs> you could have just died on your own terms about it. You could have. Well, no duplomancy that game, but shows the power of casting spells on your storm chaser drakes. This is this is the kind of matchup our deck likes. Uh, not a not a ton of removal. The hard matchups are the one where they're just killing all of our creatures, but this one we can fight through a, a mirror shell crab and syncopate and whatnot. So, well, sweet sweet. Against the odds time, we are trying to go off with Vasup and Duplomancy in uh, in our new standard format, and well, we will see. Yeah, let's put one combat research to the bottom. So we need to get down Ivy in a way that can protect Ivy, which means drawing more green mana, Bloodthirsty Adversary. Well, tap land, go. Brian Comer's not the worst. That's actually pretty good. Although we still need another another green source. All right, opponent, staying hasty. Getting in there. Yeah, down to 14. And a saga. We draw. Well, there's a green source, so play the land. I mean, I guess we play Brian Comer. Although, with our opponent being on the play here, I'm not sure this is going to be fast enough. Opponent. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we know the answer. It is definitely not going to be fast enough. Yeah. So we can try to do cool things, but those cool things are not, not going to save us. So we play Ivy. We play off Mayako. So we play Combat Research on the Brian Comer. Get some triggers. We get in with the Brian Comer to draw a card. It's a land past the turd, but we're just yeah, we're just dead to this attack. Okay, well we got to see we got to see Ivy do a thing. We got to see it do a thing. So that's this was not a win, but we did do a thing. I mean we have some blocks. 
Chip and Devastator X1. Opponent goes to combat. Opponent attacks with everything. Well, Tamiyo safekeeping. Get some triggers. Gain some life. Opponent has some extra removal. And yeah, we're still just dead. Okay. Well, Ivy did a little bit, but that was just, I mean, sometimes you run into aggro in the play and they get very fast draws. That was a an example of what can happen when aggro, aggro gets to play first. So we'll bring in some fateful absences. I guess we do just some trimming. Probably not the best Sarah Paragon matchup. Probably something like this. All right, thankfully, we're on the plate for game number two, which should be a pretty meaningful difference here. Although our opponent's gonna be able to bring in sideboard guards. I feel like this is one of those decks that when it goes off, it's gonna be sweet. The question's gonna be, how often do we get to go off with it? Does it happen with any any frequency? Or is this, uh, you know, one of the 20% of the time, it's like the sweetest thing ever, and the other 80% of the time, you just get brutally murdered? You never know, you never know with against the odds. Duplomancy is kind of like Panorama monicon with extra steps the extra steps are a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a challenge considering panor monicon's already jeez all right well not keeping that one we are not keeping that one well this will keep put a cradle of safety to the bottom and i guess we'll see spara headquarters go so we have duplomancy and ivy opponent star in with the one drop well tap land go up oh Bloodthirsty adversary. This looks uh, familiar. Gets and hits us. Play Storm Chaser Drake. Maybe our opponent won't bother to kill it. Oh, we're set up to do things, but do we even live long enough to do anything? We got the Duplomancy. We got the Ivy. We got the Storm Chaser Drake. Like this is the this is the setup for sweetness. But we're down to eleven. Opponent passes. Well, play the land. Play Ivy. All right, well, we will save our Storm Chaser Drake draw a card. Would have been better after Ivy was down, but pass the turn. One mana play would be sweet. Yeah, one mana play to go with the Duplomancy. Thundering Raju. Now, so much for cool things. We're just, if we don't block, we die. So we have to block, we go to three. It's a land. Well, all right, next time, next time. Against the odds time, we are trying to do cool things in New Standard with uh, Ivy's Invasive and Duplomancies. That sounds good. We don't have a Duplomancy, but I, I don't, ooh, boy, okay. Well, in that case, I think we just, yeah, we're just gonna run out this Light Paws and be like, opponent, can you kill it? Light Paws is actually the least impactful of our threat, so if something's gonna die, ooh, okay. Well, 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 in that case, uh, we will Sheltering Bow on Light Paws, draw a card, and get a Combat Research to put on Light Paws, and then draw another card. Opponent. Red Mana. Leyline Binding. All right, the domain's coming through for our opponent at the moment. I'll play the land, play Storm Chaser Drake. What is our best bet here? Yeah, let's Rafine's Guidance draw a card. And just pass the turn. We can leave up the fight spell. All right, Fable the Mirror Breaker, that is acceptable. And a tap land. Okay, so we get to untap, play the land. Play Ivy. Can we do everything? Oh, we can't quite do everything. I mean, I think this is still our plan. Play Ivy. Tail swipe. Fight the token, draw a card. We gotta leave up the safekeeping this turn, I think. So hit you past the turn. Next turn! Assuming our opponent doesn't have... Well, what could they have? I guess the Domain Sweeper. Assuming they don't have the Domain Sweeper. Next turn should be good. Ley line binding. All right, well, we will safe keeping that. Copy it. Fizzle it. Draw some cards. Oh, okay. 
Let's do fun things. Uh, so, combat research, Storm Chaser Drake. Copy it for Ivy. Yes, please. Another safekeeping. Security bypass, Storm Chaser Drake. Copy it for Ivy. Yes, please. Oh, there's the Duplomancy too. Play the land. Hit ya. Draw a few cards. Opponent goes to six. Uh, discard an Ivy. Discard an Ivy. Actually, we can discard a land here. Discard a land. Oh, that was good. And we drew more protection too. So we have a handful, we have multiple protection spells. Opponent's gonna flip the Saga. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We're going off, opponent. The Cammy War, but there's bad news, opponent. The bad news is we have Tamiya safekeeping. <laughs> yes! And about it, done, done, done. Whoo! Okay, so we didn't get Duplomancy down, but that went pretty well. That went pretty well. Our opponent's, uh, the, the domain deck's sweet, although, your lands come into play pretty tapped. Although our opponent did have a bunch of Leyline Bindings and it still wasn't enough. All right, so negates in. Negates in, go down a Tail Swipe, go down a Brinecomber, maybe go down one Security Bypass, another Paragon, yeah, let's go four Paragons. I feel like our opponent's gonna have Sweepers after sideboard. I feel like they're gonna have the Domain Sweeper. So being able to rebuild from the graveyard feels like it could be important. That was a good one though. We didn't get Duplomancy down, but that was just the, the super fast Ivy Snowball. Well, I mean, we have every creature we could want. Hopefully we draw some lands to go with them. Opponent, tap land. Well, tap land for us. Opponent, tap land. Well, land and light pause, go. Light pause living could draw us a bunch of cards, which would be sweet. All right, Leyline binding for our opponent. Removal spell number one. Uh, well, play the land and, yeah, let's storm chaser. Pass the turn. Opponent, land, well, play the land, play, Oh boy, do we just play Duplomancy? Oh, we don't want to lose our stuff yet though. All right, let's wait. Let's let's play Ivy. Go attacking. Duplomancy is at its best when we get to do something with it right away. Opponent, tap land, passes. Well, play the land, go to combat, attack ya. We're gonna keep waiting, we're gonna keep waiting. This would be the Cami War turn. Shieldred, okay, that is a good card. Ooh, ooh, all right, this we like though. Ottawa, Duplomancy, pass the turn. We're gonna play defense and try to cradle the safety. We would like to get rid of this shield red, especially since we can recast stuff from the graveyard. A bonus. Well, I mean, we're gonna go for it. Block, block, cradle a safety storm chaser. Okay, so we take some damage, but we get rid of this shield red. We get to play the land. How do we want to do this? We could just keep making drakes. Yeah, let's security bypass draw a card. Make a copy of the storm chaser. Go to combat hit our opponent. Connive. Discard a Sarah Paragon. Play as Sarah Paragon. Pass the turn. Safe keeping at the ready. So Sweeper is still a concern. Outside of a Sweeper though, while he discarded a Titan of Industry opponent. Combat, attacks. We'll just, uh, we'll just take it, sure. Opponent, land. Drag to the bottom. All right, so that kills some stuff. However, we got another Paragon. So we're, we're fine. Sarah Paragon. Yeah, let's pass. Next turn is when we're gonna start trying to do things. We wanna leave up the negate this turn for another sweeper and the safekeeping. Titan of industry, uh-huh. Well, we will, Tamio safekeeping it. Untap. Security bypass. Make a Paragon. 
Go to combat. Hit ya, connive. Discard the ivy. Opponent's at 11. Yeah, let's storm chaser. Play the tap plan, pass the turn. Okay! No more Titans of Industry, please. Bone it, land. I mean, I guess they can copy the Titan of Industry. Cruelty of Gex. Well, we're gonna negate that. Although the copying of the Titan of Industry might still just beat us here. That's pretty, pretty busted. So makes another Titan of Industry, blows up the Duplomancy, gains some life. Yeah, I don't know if we can get there from here. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they only attack with one. All right, well. I don't know if we can get there now, though. Opponent's up to 16. We draw land. Play Ivy. Cradle of safety on Storm Chaser Drake. Copy it. Oh, another land. Yeah, that's the, that's the fizzle in the death. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can't even block our way out of it. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, 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 oh. Titan of Industry every turn is pretty good. Also, our opponent did have the sweeper. The the combination of those two things. So their sweeper gets around. Tamio safekeeping. Let's bring in two fateful absences. Run like that. All right. We're on the play. Oh, come on deck. Come on deck. Let's do cool things. Let's do cool things. Also, so it's clear that last game, I know we could have threw our entire board in front of our opponent's Titan of Industries, but without a way to actually kill the Titan of Industry, we were just dead the next turn. So I know we could have technically chump blocked enough to stay alive for, for one more turn, but that wouldn't have actually really, really done anything in the long run. Well, I mean, we're going to run out Ivy, although... Ivy by itself is not very good. We really need something else to go with the Ivy. Light Paws, for example. Although we don't have any auras. Oh, play the Light Paws. Hit you with the Ivy. Opponent goes to 18. Opponent. Swamp. An aura would be very helpful. Leyline Binding. Going after Light Paws. Well, we will do some safekeeping. Gain some life. Come on, aura. Come on, aura. All right, that works. Uh, combat research on light pause. Copy it. This helps because we get to start drawing cards now, which is big. And then we get to search up a Rafine's Guidance. Hit our opponent, draw two. Down to 11. Oh, double land. Double land's not the best. All right, well, let's see if they go untap land sweeper. Tap land, okay. Well, we're gonna cycle, see if we can find some action. Ooh, Duplomancy. Dupe. Oh, and Cradle of Safety. Wait, 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 wait. Does this let us win? Opponent's at 11. We have seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. We can tutor up the connive thing. That's still not lethal, is it? Opponent doesn't have green. Let's just attack. We get to draw some cards. Maybe we draw into a negate. Hit our opponent. Draw, draw. Ottawa. Sarah Paragon. Sarah Paragon is good. Well, play the land, pass the turn. All right, well, in this case, if our opponent does manage to sweep, one plus, so this is gonna be negative five, negative five. Is there a way we save our board here? Cradle of safety, yeah, there's not. All right, so opponent kills our board. We untap, we play Sarah Paragon. Are we just playing a land and passing? Yeah, play the land past the turn. I think protecting Sarah Paragon is actually the, the right play here. The Rand Portal. Opponent passes. All right, well, play the land. Duplomancy. Play Rafine's Guidance. Get another Paragon. Attack you, kill you. Okay, that was good, that was good. Oh! Fighting through the sweeper, even that was uh that was pretty impressive. That was, uh, the deck is so cool when it works. When it doesn't work, we kind of do nothing. But when it works, oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Well, we'll take it. That was a good one.
against Dodd's time. We are new standarding. Well, mulliganing in new standard today. <laughs> Trying to go off with a uh, with Super Dupla Man C and uh, in friends. That sounds actually kind of fine. I think we just put Brian Comer to the bottom. So this hand, we can protect a Storm Chaser Drake at a minimum. If we can get Duplamancy going, like, oh, Duplamancy Storm Chaser. Oh, oh. That is uh, kind of the best. All right, land go. Abundant. Zenda's Lounge, All right? Land go. So the problem with a deck like this is Liliana is a concern. Okay. Oh, this is just like a legendary deck. All right. Well, in that case, I think we run out the Drake. Play the land. Play the Drake. Pass the turn. Leave up Tamio safekeeping for protection. Opponent overgrown farmland. Cut down. Well, all right. Tamio safekeeping. Save it, draw a card. Ooh, combat research, X2. Opponent gets in. Indestructible, yeah, all right. Uh, free block. I mean, we gotta take advantage of this, right? Uh, combat research, draw a card. Combat research, draw a card. Hit ya, draw two cards. Oh, play the tap land. Pass the turn. I mean, if the Drake continues to live, things are sweet. If it doesn't continue to live, then... Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That is super fine. All right, let the fun begin, I think. We can even play the Duplomancy if we want to. Opponent gets and hits us. Sure. Oh, <gasps> okay. So, land... Are we gonna play Ivy this turn? What is our plan now? Go to combat attack, draw some cards. Yes, please. Play Basaishu, play Duplomancy, pass the turn. Okay, opponent, Rafine. It's a good card, that's a good card. Yeah, we're just gonna take it though. We're gonna take it and just try to go off. So opponent gets in. They grow the dorks. But I mean, we are gonna go, we're gonna go pretty big here, I think. Sure, take a bunch for now. Down to 10. But things are about to look a lot different. All right, we draw a Jano. Okay, so. Light pause, step one, play a light pause. Actually, do we, Ivy? Now I'm having second thoughts. We do need to not die. All right, play the land. Cradle of safety, light pause. Make a copy of light pause. Get some triggers. Get Rafine's guidance. Get security bypass. And then tail swipe. Kill Rafine. Pay the one. And then get in with Storm Chaser Drake. Draw a couple cards. Pass the turn. All right, we just gotta stay alive. We just gotta stay alive. And things are getting better and better. Opponent, shield it. Oh, that's super obnoxious. Goes attacking, goes attacking. Block and block. Yeah, Sheldred's a problem because that stops us from being able to draw cards. Yeah, so now I think we might be dead. Now I think we're dead. Oh, Sheldred. Oh, we were going off too. Yeah, we're just not allowed to draw cards anymore, which which beats us. And we don't have a way to stop the Sheldred. Oh, play Ivy. Yeah, we're just dead, unfortunately. Hit you with the light pause. Oh, what a sad blowout. Discard the brine comer. Get drained. Oh, brine comer light pause. Get a copy of it. Well, if anyone was thinking Shieldred wasn't good, hopefully this changes their mind because Shieldred's actually kind of insane can't do cool things and yeah i mean we'll just we'll just concede oh 
That was such an awesome setup, but she already is so punishing. Oh, all right. Well, Fateful Apps has got to come in because we cannot let Shieldred live. Shieldred living just means we don't get to do anything cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Shieldred must go. That was such a good setup, too. That was, like, one of the sweetest possible setups until Shieldred came and just, like, ruined our day. <laughs> well, I mean, the good news is we got to see our deck go off. And I guess the other good news, which isn't really good for us, but we got to see just how strong Shieldred is, like... Everyone's thinking Shieldred's bad, and Shieldred's, like, insane. <laughs> I think people people will learn eventually that Shieldred is actually just, like, uh, borderline busted. Borderline busted, I say. Uh, but people pick that up pretty quickly. Well, I mean, we're gonna run out of Ivy. Although it doesn't do much at the moment. Yeah, this hand is much less exciting. No Duplomancy, no Drakes. We do have removal, I guess, which is something, but passes. Well, Tamiyo Safekeeping. Safekeeping's not bad. I mean, safekeeping's great. We really just need another, we need another creature. If we can find a Drake, Drake would be the best. Drake with Ivy would be very good. Opponent, land. Tor laws. Connive, sure. Discards a Rafine. Well, we untap. There's the Storm Chaser. That's what we were looking for. All right, Storm Chaser Drake, run it out. Play the land. Hit you with Ivy. And now we have the safekeeping for protection. And now we get a, a card draw engine going. Opponent. This time we don't just lose to Shieldred because we have Fateful Amsimps. Rocket Robic is a sweet card. I do love me some Rocket Robic. Thinks about attacking. Goes attacking. Well, I mean, I think we block. We make it an eh. All right, no blocks. I think we just got to take it this turn. Now we untap. Spara's headquarters. Now well, let's Tamiyo safekeeping the Drake. Get a copy, gain some life, make him indestructible. And then tail swipe the Drake and rock a Drabic. Pay. Kill it. Spara's headquarters. Hit ya. All right. Well, that was a decent turn. Hopefully our Drake keeps living. Rocketropic's Ward 2 is actually pretty good. Oh, I love Rocketropic. One of my favorite cards from this entire set. Rocketropic's so sweet. Stop looking at our creatures. Oh, dear God. All right. Well, that's pretty bad. Yeah, Meek Massacre is very good against us. Very, very good. And yeah, now we have no creatures, which is not ideal. Well, we're going to need to draw a creature pretty quick. <laughs> Like, uh, right around now. Oh, it keeps getting worse. Rafine. Well, now we gotta kill Rafine. So, opponent's on the just play, play as many good legends as possible plan, I guess. What are you doing, opponent? What are you doing? All right, opponent has woken from their slumber. We will kill their Rafine. Well, I mean, we need to draw a creature. We need to draw it right about now. Time is running out. Opponent gets in with Torals. Don't know things about getting in. Back to, back to nap time. Okay, nap time over. Gets in for four. <laughs> opponent, back to nap time. We know you're not doing anything, opponent. I suggest you pass the turn. Oh, that me, that me hook massacre. All right, opponent, you can do it. I have faith in you, friend. I have faith in your ability to pass this turn. Probably shouldn't, though. <laughs> have that faith. Uh, okay, opponent realize they do not have two mana to crack their clue. Passes the turn. Do we draw a creature? The answer is no. So we will pass our turn quickly. Sweepers are very good against what we're trying to do. Sarah Paragon would be nice. That would be that would be a way to rebuild. That's one of our hopeful answers. Be merciful and kill us in a <laughs> in a timely manner. Opponent, after much deliberation, plays another Rafine. We kill another Rafine. We pay the one. We get drained. Attacks. Nap time returns. <laughs> I think our opponent's just a fan of ropes. That's that's what I've determined. All right, opponent passes. It's not a creature. Uh, boom. We'll play the diplomacy. We'll pass the turn. About it adapts. I mean, the game is. I think this one's just over at this point. The the meatball massacre and no creature got us pretty good. Okay, did it. A clue has been sacked. 
I'm proud of you, opponent. Two, two clues in the same turn. For the love of God, click the attack button. The, I, I don't emo, but I'm almost to the point of clicking the year ago emo. Almost, so close. <laughs> Pony all those made me break my my biggest uh whoa there it is okay we did it boom actually we should be we should be nice to our opponent they could be playing uh playing on mobile or something and just not having any any luck well mihook massacre it's a card against the odds time we are trying to go off with a. <laughs> Trying to go off with the Steven Duplomancy and Ivy in our new standard format. We'll see. We'll see if it can work. About it. So on the mall again, this hand's pretty landlike. Q man. All right, not a land. Well, play the farmland past the turn. Own it. Tap land attacks. Well, play Ivy or play Light Paws. Play Dream Room Cascade. I wish it was Ivy. Wedding announcement. Passes. Uh, well, play the land. Security bypass. Get a combat research. Hit you do some card drawing. Discard a. I guess just a Sarah Paragon? Yeah, let's discard the Paragon. I mean, at this point, I think we're kind of all in on this Ivy. Or. Uh, Light paws, light paws, not Ivy. Plus we have two Sarah Paragons and I don't know how much removal our opponent's deck's actually gonna have with this setup. I assume they're trying to like get to a Jota or something. About it goes to combat. Gets in, we will take it. And more wedding announcements. All right, that's fine. I wanna make some tokens. Well, combat research number two. On the light paws. Get Rafine's Guidance on the Light Paws. Go attacking, hit you, draw some cards. Discard a Adikar Waste. Run out the Brightencomber. Pass the turn. We still have our safekeeping up. So this is not the most explosive draw, but it's working. An opponent goes to combat, does some attacking. Uh, we're gonna block, because we'd rather have Brian Comer in the graveyard, actually. Coming back is, uh, on the light pause is pretty good. All right, opponent draws some cards, draws some cards, flips. Well, Brian Comer light pause. Make a dork. Get a sheltering bow. Draw a card. Play the land. Security bypass. Make a spirit. Well, we're not duplomancing, but those light pause is kind of going off. Uh, yeah, get a cradle of safety. Wow, we can't quite win this turn. But that's a impressive light pause. Double connive, double card draw, double ward. Unblockable if it attacks alone. Okay, yes. <laughs> Cycling is allowed. Well, smack ya. Down to three. Get about a million triggers. Oh, there's a duplomancy. It might be too late to really do anything, but uh discard you up my coast. Discard I guess sheltering bow. Pass the turn. Alright, opponent. Okay, reinforcements, sure. Is there a way they can kill us here? We can gain two and we got a bunch of chump blockers. I mean, this light pause is like uber lethal. Brutal Cathar. Gotta pay the wards. Oh, this is, this works. So they pay the wards and then we just safekeeping? The opponent pays, opponent pays. And then we crush their dreams. <laughs> GG! Well, we didn't get to win with Duplomancy, but that was a pretty impressive light pause performance. All right, opponents playing humans. What do we want against humans? So Sarah Paragon seems not super necessary. Removal seems pretty good. So we'll go down to one Sarah Paragon. Broker's Charm, Fateful Absence, 
Hail Swipe is fine if we go off. Um, yeah, maybe we're gonna want safekeeping. Let's try it like that. All right, well, that was that was a win. That was a win. That was not exactly what we were trying to do, but new standard, we'll take it. Close enough, close enough. Well, okay. I mean, we do need another land, but we got the Duplomancy. All right, land go. This hopeful initiate might be an issue. Opponent, tap land hits us. Well, okay. Yeah, can't really cast anything, so we really need to draw land this turn. Really, really, really. Opponent. Secluded Courtyard King Darien to grow the dorks. All right, deck. Show us a land. Show us a land. All right, that's a land. So play the land. Do we play the ivy? I mean, I think we have to. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to wait, so we're going to run it out. Pass the turn. Hopefully our opponent can't just kill it. Land. But brutal. All right, that is that is brutal. Gets and hits us. Well, now we need another land. Well, play light paws. Although light paws doesn't really do anything here. Oh wait, wait, wait. It does do something. What are we killing though? Do we just gotta kill the Darien? We'd like our Ivy back, but yeah, I think we gotta we gotta kill the Darien. We're taking too much damage, and this also makes the light paws big enough to block. All right, so Darien down. Well, I guess it doesn't. Well, it can block the Brutal Cathar. We'd rather have the Ivy, I think. Although, I don't know, this Light Paws, we saw last game, Light Paws can kind of go off. Uh, opponent's passing, okay. Well, play, okay. Well, now we're gonna do, oh, I wanna get down Duplomancy, but I, hmm. All right, we got a security bypass, Light Paws. I think we gotta do it this way. Hopefully next turn, we can get down the Duplomancy. All right, opponent. Counters and kicks. All right, well, in that case, we're gonna pass and just leave up Cradle of Safety. We don't wanna flip this Moonrage Brute. All right, opponent's gonna flip the Moonrage Brute. No, wait, that doesn't work anymore. All right, opponent's going wide. On and they got. Opponent goes to combat, attacks, trains. Well, I mean, Cradle of Safety on Light Paws. Sure. Cycles, resolves, hexproof, tutors. Combat research. Oh, that was big. Kill the Moon Rage Brew. Get back our Ivy. Oh, oh, we might be doing it. We might be doing it. Opponent plays the land. We got the Duplomancy. We got the Duplomancy. Ooh, Shauna. All right, Shauna spicy. Let's play the land. Play du We're gonna play Duplomancy. I don't know if this is right or not, but we gotta, we gotta go for it. This is what it's all about. Attacks with Shauna. Gonna try to draw some cards. Attacks with Hopeful Initiate. Well, I mean, we gotta kill the Shauna. Wow! Oh my god, what a top deck. Oh my god, what a top deck for our opponent. Okay, that was a ridiculous top deck. Well, we will play Sarah Paragon. This will let us combat research Sarah Paragon. Make a copy of it for Ivy. Make a copy of Sarah Paragon. And then, do we attack? I think we just gotta pass. We gotta pass and play D, cause we're down to eight. Wow, that Wandering Emperor top deck was huge for our opponent. Huge, I say, huge. Opponent gonna take up on Shauna. Goes to combat, attacks, attacks. I mean, we got a chump. Wow, what a draw. That was an incredibly good draw for our opponent. All right, we drop to four. Opponent gets to draw a new hand if they desire. And that's assuming they didn't draw into some removal. They're gonna kill the Duplomancy. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me so We were gonna do such sweet things. This was our chance. And then the Wandering Emperor. All right, opponent, do your worst. Do your worst. Shauna, yeah, draw that new hand. I mean, the Shauna's going off here. I mean, really, the Wandering Emperor's going off. Opponent draws some cards, passes. All right, so how do we do this? We can play one thing from the graveyard. Well, let's play the land. Security bypass Paragon, make a copy, get another Ivy. Well, go to combat, get in with Ivy, draw some cards. I mean, we can make a bunch of Sarah Paragons. Is there a chance that's enough? We'd like a cheap protection spell, like a some one mana protection would be big. All right, opponent, gonna take it? Opponent takes it. Well, we get to draw a card and connive. 
Well, there's combat research. Well, discard the land. Security bypass on Sarah Paragon. Get some triggers. All right, runs out Cathar Commando. Gonna go after our Duplomancy. Okay, so Duplomancy dies. We get another Sarah Paragon. Play the land. Oh, we can't play the land from the graveyard. Shouldn't we be able to? Very strange. Oh, we already made our land drop. I see. I see. Yeah, so pass the turn. No, pass. Pass the turn, Arena. Pass the turn. Is this bugged? Oh, no. What is what is happening? We would just like to pass the turn. Apparently, Arena doesn't like this Sarah Paragon setup. So we need to pass. Leave up our fateful absence to kill the Shauna. Block enough to stay alive? I mean, let's just do this now, I guess. All right, whatever. Kill the Shauna. Pass the turn. So we lost our Duplomancy, but we made three Sarah Paragons. So our graveyard is very, very active. Opponent, land on human. Can we survive this turn is the real question. I mean, it seems like we should be able to, but our opponent drew a lot of cards with that Shauna and we don't have any protection up. Helpful initiate, okay, that's fine. What's Wandering Emperor doing? Counter on Hopeful Initiate. So they can blow up some of our enchantments, but that doesn't really matter. This is interesting. This is a very interesting setup. Sarah Paragon is kind of showing its worth. Opponent goes on the huge attack. Block, block, block. See what happens. Okay, so they kill a Sarah Paragon. We gain a bunch of life, which is actually kind of helpful. We still have one Sarah Paragon left. This does mean we can only play one thing from our graveyard. Losing that Duplomancy was annoying. Well, combat research on the Paragon. Copy it. Get in with Ivy to draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> Ooh, there's a Duplomancy. Do we get a land? No. Broker's Charm is interesting though. Oh, we can play the land from our graveyard. So let's discard Brian Comer. Let's discard Ivy. So play Beseju. Play Duplomancy. Security Bypass, Paragon. Pass the turn. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. They can blow up our Duplomancy again because of that hopeful initiate. All right, opponent's gonna kill the Ivy. Although this is gonna take a bunch of mana and we're gonna gain a bunch of life. Oh, actually we gain no life, oops. Okay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Opponent, tab land. Wedding announcement goes to combat attacks. No blocks. Duplomancy living would be helpful here. I don't know if it will. I assume they're gonna remove the counters and blow it up, but we will find, wow, not yet, okay. Well, that is also interesting. So, in that case, wow, well, we're gonna have an interesting turn here. Step one, do we wanna get out Ivy? Probably not yet. Uh, step one, Brian, Brian Comer, Disturb. On a Sarah Paragon, get a copy. Make a dork. Our clock running down is not good. Security bypass on a Sarah Paragon. Make a spirit. Get a copy. Go to combat. Attack our opponent. Attack Wandering Emperor. Wow, what a wild game. This has been an absurd game. So Wandering Emperor down to one. We get to draw some cards. Oh, there's Tamiyo safekeeping. That's that's a big one. That is a big one. Discard Ivy. Discard Light Paws. Play the land. Ivy from the graveyard. <laughs> oh, so many Sarah Paragods. So many Sarah Paragods. Pass the turn. I think we're staying alive. I think we're doing it. I think this was even Duplomancy. I'm kind of surprised our opponent's not killing it. But considering our opponent has chosen not to kill it, 
uh we're uh we're doing we're doing things we are doing things and at this point maybe the duplomancy doesn't matter that much because we already have like we already have four zero bear gods we just get to recast our entire graveyard and these spirits from the brine comb are going to keep us alive that gives us so many blockers opponent takes up on the hopeful initiate we should be able to block our way through this another wedding announcement yeah good card good card opponent what a game this has been the the most interesting game with this deck for sure opponent attacks with everything does some training so we will block here block here block here block here go to one actually one's a little sketchy you know what let's block here let's go to two this does mean losing our ivy but i think it's i think it's worth it yep all right so we go to two I mean, we're just gonna recast everything anyway. The part of the problem is the pain land. We need to we need to have enough life to be able to to cast this safekeeping with our pain land. All right, up to four. The life gain from the paragons have been relevant too. Well, now if our opponent tries to kill Duplomancy, we can just safekeeping it. All right, another wedding announcement. All right, let's let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. How far can we go, opponent? Yeah, going off with wedding announcements. Sure, sure, sure. So we untap. We will play a light pause with a Sarah Paragon. We'll play an Ivy with a Sarah Paragon. Play the land, Cradle of Safety, uh, with a Sarah Paragon, on a Sarah Paragon. Make another Sarah pa Paragon. Okay. Get some triggers. Ravine's Guidance, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we can't quite win? So get in and hit ya. Kill the Wandering Emperor. Get in and hit ya. Get in and hit ya. Yeah, I think we got enough that we can make a pretty big attack. So Wandering Emperor down. Pony goes to six. We get some triggers. Uh, discard a land. Ooh, tail swipe. All right, discard a land. Tail swipe. Kill the hopeful initiate. Pass the turn. So we still got the safekeeping. I mean, opponent needs like a farewell. <laughs> <laughs> what a game what a game oh that was so good oh that was sweet duplomancy when you actually get to keep your stuff on the battlefield ghoul duplomancy is sweet i'm still not sure why our opponent has not been more aggressive with destroying our artifacts and enchantments opponent brutal cathar what are we going for about it paragon all right well tamio safekeeping make some copies gain some life and a bonus scoops it up, and that is the that is the duplomancy win. That is oh, when the plan comes to fruition, it's so good. That was sweet. Look at that board. Look at that board. Look at what you could do in Dominator United Standard when you get a duplomancy on the battlefield with Ivy and really Sarah Paragon was oh so good, so good, so good. Wow, that was that was sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. So what did we learn this week about Ivy's Duplomancy in Dominary United Standard? And overall, we went three and three with the deck after we finally got to the final build of it. The other loss that you didn't see, we actually lost to Painland mistapping. So a little PSA about these Painlands on Arena. Arena tries really, really hard to not make you spend life on your mana base. So if you're using Auto Tapper, it's going to leave up your Painlands over your like Triomes or whatever. So keep that that in mind because the other loss that I didn't actually show in the video is one where I scooped early because Auto Tapper tapped a colored source that we needed and left up a pain land so we couldn't leave up Tamiyo safekeeping and we ended up losing as a result of that which was really really frustrating so keep that in mind the pain lands I think that's how you have to have it work because it would be really bad if they auto tap your pain lands and you died to them that would be even more embarrassing but auto tap are a little clunky with the pain land so just make sure you're paying attention to your mana if you play a deck or play any pain land decks as far as the deck itself we really got to see the good and the bad of this deck like when it goes off it is so incredibly sweet we got to see the five sarah paragons or whatever on the battlefield we got to see storm chaser great we got to see ivy value we got to see duplomancy just make a ton of copies of things so when it works it's really sweet the hard matchups are definitely the control matchups like the way that we lose i mean i guess we can get run over by aggro we saw that against mono red just get a slow draw and get run over but the most common way we lose is our opponent just kills all of our things and we can't keep creatures on 
on the battlefield to copy with duplomancy and we got a lot of protection we got counters in the sideboard but still the hardcore control decks are really tough and a little brewing story initially this deck didn't have Zara Paragon but I realized uh, in the early testing of this deck the early versions oh were much worse the record was pretty bad we were just getting wrecked by all the removal all the time so I eventually added Sarah Paragon thinking okay this will be our way to rebuild from removal our opponent kills our stuff we Sarah Paragon we replay our stuff they wrath our board we Sarah Paragon we rebuild and it does do a very good job at that role but Sarah Paragon was way better than I thought in this deck because I didn't really think through when I added it it's combo potential which we saw in our last game where we get down Duplomancy and Sarah Paragon and in the late game we usually have a bunch of auras in the graveyard either from conniving or just our stuff dying and then we're able to like cast a cheap aura on Sarah Paragon get another Sarah Paragon we haven't used the ability on that one yet so we get to use that ability to cast another cheap aura to get another Sarah Paragon and next thing you know we just have this massive board of flyers to win the game so Sarah Paragon is the card that took this deck from being like a 20% win rate deck to closer to a 50% win rate deck so I've used Duplomancy the deck's super fun if you like copying your stuff if you like doing big splashy things and you don't mind getting wrecked by removal sometimes it's a really fun deck to play I don't think it's a top tier deck or anything like that but it can do explosive things it's got a lot of protection and when it goes off it is spectacular so anyway that's Ivy's Duplomancy that's been our first against the odds from Dominaria United what are we playing next week I don't know yet. That's up to all of you. So make sure to vote for next week's deck. I'll link the poll in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy Dominary United Standard, and I will talk to you soon.